Farm Guy here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at a small update to the Lizard NTG South America by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. This is Changelog 1200, which is correction of flashlights. I'm guessing the signal lights, maybe? There's no beacons. Uh, sticker correction and hydraulic tank option added. So really in reality just a few cosmetic changes here's the tank um i wouldn't normally do a review on an update like this however to be honest this was the only mod that got released this is friday july the 12th there was a couple of other there was a new map and a map update and then this update released today i think that's it so We'll take a look at it anyways. Uh, vehicles and trucks. It's actually pretty nice. It's Lizard. I'm guessing um, it's a Scania, perhaps. Um, otherwise, because we have Volvo and other, other, yeah. Anyways, whatever it is, 420 to 1200 horsepower, automatic transmission, uh, 1,075 liters of fuel, 74 miles per hour. So we have chassis options. None of this is any different or changed from um, the original um, mod. Uh, if we scroll down to do 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 side protection, mud guards, grill styles, perhaps there is no nothing here with decals. Uh, I wonder if it's the arrow spoiler. I just that's just a spoiler. Uh, da -da -da. Cabin headlights, horns, sunroof, exhaust, bumpers. Uh, here's the hydraulic hydraulic tank. You get an extra tank like so, right back there. So that's been added. Ca oh, here we go. Cabin decals. Super logo, blue fun edition road heroes 65 years or no so something was corrected there they do look pretty nice um and flashlights so yeah let's make it uh we got we got some beautiful colors here look at that that's a nice pink actually if you like pink however here we have the uh uh, a version with the um, 4x6 another quick look I know I did a, a full review on this previously but um, it's the sound is really nice a really loud annoying horn that's what you really want we have a steering if you have the uh, extra third axle you can lift and lower that axle I believe yes you can lift that and uh, there it goes and it still turns but it's lifted we'll just lower that down it's a uh, for extra weight capacity it turns like very a it has a really a really tight turning radius very nice very maneuverable very handleable 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 oh I'm not sure that's a word uh, so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun here we're gonna do a little torture test as I usually do with the base game crampy three-in-one with full of stones and we're gonna go up the hill. I don't expect any trouble. It was pretty capable. Um, we have signal lights. I'm not sure if that's what it meant by flash, flashlights or not. Uh, we don't have any. I don't. I didn't see any beacon option. So, I can say what, driving it here with the full load it seemed pretty capable and as you can see it's 
powering up this hill. This is a 1200 horsepower, so actually it's a really nice truck. It's starting to slow down a little bit, but this is um, absolutely no problem pulling pulling up this hill. It's just now starting to shift down to eighth gear, so <laughs> um, no problem whatsoever. We're going to go down this hill. And um, since it had such a great time there, let's see if we can get up to uh, its top speed and try out the brakes if I can keep it straight. There we go, braking now. And look at that, stopping very nicely. Nothing, it, it acts very, um, shall we say, realistic compared to some other trucks. We have some, some body lean that would be you would expect uh, but nothing scary or over overly leany now when it says automatic it's it does shift through the gears it's just it's very uh, excuse me smooth we're gonna try it up this uh, We're going to take it over the big one and see uh, how badly we can crash this thing. Uh, actually, this side isn't as um, steep as the other approach, but um, I expect it to fully go up this no problem here. As I said, um, pretty, uh, pretty light day for mods. I know there's a lot of modders with um, mods waiting to be released. They said it's past console testing. I haven't seen any. Maybe some more will come out today. I don't know. Oh, oh, we're starting to... Six gear. <laughs> it looks like we're holding steady in six gear. Uh, that's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, this is a really nice truck. If you're looking for something a little bit different for a truck um, that's not gonna, you know, be that you're not gonna be. Uh, oh, and this is this is gonna be interesting. This is, yeah. Wow. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, that's. Oh well. We actually landed. We actually landed on our feet. So let's see if we get turned around. Okay. Well, that's that's a bonus. Let's see if we can take a little bit of a run. I don't expect to get up to the, up this one. That's pretty tall tall order for any vehicle. And yeah, <laughs> right. So no no uh, <laughs> no knock on that vehicle. For uh, not making it up that hill. I don't think really anything can make it up that one. But yes, I really like this actually. Um, yeah, so a second look with a little bit of an update. And there you have it. That's the um, Blizzard NTG South America by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And uh, remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now.